Okay, so now that we have our metahuman base mesh, we are going to wrap our metahuman mesh onto our gorilla source mesh that we want our metahuman to go on. So here I've imported my metahuman mesh, metahuman mesh there, and gorilla mesh here. Given them different colors, just so that we can differentiate a little bit. Um, another thing I've done is I've tried to line up the eyes as best as possible. So from here, I'm going to add a point select node. It says select point pairs there. So metahuman in the first node, gorilla being our source in the second node. Click on the point pairs and node and we go to sync views, which is this visual editor here and you'll see our views are synced. And then we can turn symmetry on. When I went for topological, it seemed to work the best uh, for both left and right. Then we want to choose the synced points on both of them. So you'll see there I've picked point one here and then I've selected the uh, corresponding point on the other side there. And you see it's symmetrical so it's selecting a point on the other side. What we want to do is we want to go through and try and find all the major landmarks. <laughs> Um, but it is, it's the, it's not super difficult, but it is the, probably the most time consuming component of the process. So now I've got my head points all selected, all the corresponding bits and pieces, and I go into the wrapping section. So it goes, you, it brings you back to uh, the aligned view. And if I turn wrapping on and then I hit compute. Cool. Now we've got a head and then we can use the brush tool to smooth out and relax any areas. So if there's any pinching above the eyes, um, particularly I found there was a bit of um, bit of mess around the ears, which I used the relax tool on, and um, there was a bit of, bit of misalignment with the head, which is okay. Uh, then here we save out our OBJ, wherever you, uh, wherever you want, wherever it uh, makes sense for you. And we do the same with the body. Cool. And brush some of the uh, nasties away again and save our geometry up. So we have a body geometry and a head geometry. Also a good place to uh, save out your texture. So I have my new metahuman body on well, my new meta gorilla body overlaid on top of my of the source gorilla. Source gorilla has the textures and down here I can transfer the textures the source gorilla onto the UVs of my new meta gorilla which is the metahuman mesh. So back in Maya, just to recap what we've uh, what we've ended up with. So this is our source mesh uh, of our of our uh, gorilla. Then this guy here is our base mesh metahuman, which we then wrapped to our gorilla. And this is what we've ended up with. This is our metahuman mesh wrapped to our gorilla. So I've got a, a body and a face, and you'll see why when we get into the metahuman that we want both, uh, both separate uh, pieces. 
also just one thing to note about the arms you'll notice if I line up my uh, my gorilla over the source one his arms are in a different pose um, I found with uh, the metahuman rigging auto rigging you want to get the orientation and the arm pose as close to the metahuman arm pose as possible it doesn't have to be the exact same proportions but just the same angles uh, helps a lot uh, and lastly from here, I want to export uh, my MetaHuman Gorilla. I'm just going to hide these guys. And I'm going to zero out, zero out the translations on my guys here. And I want to put them in. Uh, I'm going to lean my guys forward 90 degrees so that when I export them, they're Z up, which is what uh, uh, Unreal likes. So from here, select these, one final export. So I'm gonna export, export selection as an OBJ or an FBX. Um, I think I've got them as uh, OBJs. Uh, and then gonna import all this into Unreal.